Hello, hello, Merry Time Zone friends, it's Matt here today bringing you another demo for the channel courtesy today of Strange Signals. We have been away on a break for quite a long time because I've been moving house. I'm now in the new place and I'm excited to be able to get back to content. This is going to be a perfect one for us to get back into after the hiatus. So without further ado, grab your cuppers and settle in. So I have been gone for quite some time, as you may know if you're a regular to the channel. If not, you might not even have noticed I was gone. But for those who have noticed or are curious why there was such a long break, I have moved house. It was a long and arduous and stressful process that meant I wasn't able to get any content done. However, we are now back to having a functioning setup and now I have the time to actually be able to bring content back. And I'm so excited because today we have a sponsored video. We were given a key for early access to today's game, which is called Nowhere. Big, big thank you to Strange Signals for allowing us early access. The demo for this game is now available for everyone to try. So please look at the description for the link to the Steam page where you can go and check out the demo for yourself. For now, we're going to jump to the Steam page, have a look at the trailer together, and then we're going to get into this one. I'm so excited for it today. Nowhere is a Nordic-inspired narrative mystery slash horror game telling the tale of what happened to the Norse gods after Ragnarok when their worship ended. Nowhere features a unique blend of realistic detective gameplay and survival horror in Nordic aesthetics. Nowhere is developed and published by Midnight Forge LTD and is brought to us today on this channel by Strange Signals, who are the PR agency who gave us the key to the early access today. I am so stoked to be playing this. It looks awesome. The color palette, the blend of horror and detective gameplay. I'm like, I'm fully pumped to go. I haven't done a video in a long time and this is a good one to get back into it so let's hop into the game and take a quick peek at what we have available in the home page and then we're just going to jump into a new game i'm excited let's go so this is demo version 0 0.0.30 so we are very early stages i do know that the developer for this game is very open to feedback he's explicitly stated any feedback is good for him it helps for the demo it helps for the full game so if you have a chance to play this yourself or you have any feedback from watching the demo today Please leave your comments down below or we'll go and find him in Twitter. All that information is in the description as always. Feedback is always appreciated. It's really good to see that there's a developer who's really on top of getting feedback and putting a lot of effort into it before we even start. There's even a button right here in the menu to give feedback directly. When you click the button, it takes you to a Google form where you can fill in your information. So I'm going to be doing that after we finish the game today. I have turned the camera shake off and I have tips on for now just because if there's any tutorials for how we need to go about the game and the keys I do like to know that at the beginning. You can also change your frame rate limit. When you first boot up the demo it is capped at 120 which I do appreciate because a lot of games will cap it at unlimited and then it really crashes the game. I do also have a toggle here for motion blur that I have turned off because that always makes me feel seasick and what I like to see here I have not changed the graphic settings. It was set overall to low and everything else was on medium. Again, a lot of games will set everything to the highest possible level that they have and then when the game opens, it's not optimal at all. This is all set to low and medium and I really, really appreciate that they booted in this way. 
So there's only one thing left to do now and that is hit play so if you know anything about norse mythology i'm going to be very curious to hear your feedback on the way that this is presented in the game today i know very little bar the basics so this is going to be a really really curious game to dive into you've been tracking a group of missing tourists nope um okay i didn't get a chance to read that uh good thing there's a journal i suppose okay so the only thing we have right now are documents which are the missing persons reports if we go to the investigation notes it says i tracked them into the forests of Foral hogna and followed their tire tracks until i found this clearing with an rv i need to find the tourists failing that i need to find evidence that they were here and where they might have gone as much information as I can gather, the better. All right, so we have our missing persons here. We have Daniel Graham, Ethan Graham, which perhaps is related to Daniel here, Sarah Carter, and Jessica Lynch. So what do we know about each person here? Daniel Graham, 24 year old man with long brown hair and green eyes has been missing since April 4th, 2024. He was last seen at approximately 10 a.m. near Vingelen before heading into Florhogna National Park. He was wearing a black coat, jeans, brown boots, and red camping gear. Let's go and have a look now at Ethan Graham. 26 year old man with short brown hair and green eyes has been missing since April 4th. Oh, so he went missing at the same time, 10 a.m. near Vingelen before heading into the National Park. He had camo jacket, jeans, black boots, and a blue backpack. Sarah Carter, a 25 year old woman with long dark hair and blue eyes, wearing green hoodie, jeans, brown boots, and a cyan backpack. And finally, Jessica Lynch, a 26 year old woman with medium brown hair and green eyes, has been missing since April 4th, 10 a.m. Obviously a group of people that were together and gone missing at the same time. Pink coat, jeans, white shoes, and a pink backpack. We found the RV up ahead, and can I just take a moment to appreciate how beautiful this is? Ooh, interesting. I just opened the menu to go and change sensitivity, and there's a get unstuck button. So apparently there is a way that you can get stuck, and there's a reset button. I'm glad they've included that, because if there is a way to get soft locked by getting stuck somewhere, I'm glad that they've given us an option to be able to get unstuck. Uh, I don't know how we're going to get stuck. Hopefully we don't, but <laughs> that's a that's a future us problem out of bounds for the demo oh interesting i wonder if we can go further out in the main game then all right before i go and look at the rv i want to have a look around in this area first the journal the journal is used to check a bunch of stuff that disappeared too quickly so i wasn't able to read that that's my immediate first bit of feedback as things were disappearing off the screen way too quickly you can interact with items and scenes in the world around you when you see one of these icons Press E to interact with something in range. Ooh, hello. Map collected. Noise. Oh, it's just trees. Cool. <laughs> That's a fantastic map. Well, looks like we have a lake and we have, oh, the little RV. All right, so we don't really have much on here at the moment, but maybe if we find some landmarks and things, they'll start popping up on the map. Can we get into the RV? Ooh, that was a cool animation. Wait, what is that? Is that a brain? Oh god, what is that? Oh my god, we have a camera. I just press C to crouch for some reason instead of pressing control and we have a camera. Can I take a picture of this weird brain thing? Oh, photo added to the journal. Ew. That might just be a mushroom, but like it looks kind of... Wow. To anyone that finds our van, please don't move it. It's locked and we took our supplies with us, so don't bother breaking in. We should be back in a few days if we find what me and Sarah are looking for. I think that's everything from here that we can look at, so I guess we have to just head into the forest. Oh, hello. What's a fence doing here? Probably this is some kind of perimeter to the national park. What I'm more concerned about is the fact that the fence is just torn off on the floor. Oh my god, look at this. This is a Bob Ross painting if ever I've seen one. I had to back up a little to get the trigger point for this hint that said about toggling the camera that is press c to toggle the camera on press it again to put it away it helps you document and track clues and discoveries focus allows you to inspect certain items and areas around the map to discern more information about them use it often and be sure to note down your findings as some of them may help you later press v to toggle oh cool 
That's so nice. It's very loud, but okay, that's a little bit better. I'm glad it's teaching me this, but I'm also scared because what am I supposed to focus on? The mushrooms? The case board is used to display all your information you've obtained and track them against each missing person. Press and hold B. Oh god, okay. Um, I have to hold it down to look at this? Um, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to be looking at here. <laughs> F for flashlight is certainly an interesting mechanic. Oh, do I have... Oh, I don't have feet. I'm assuming this is all the information that we have from the journal. I knew we can look at it on the case board. Oh, hello, ma'am. It's got a face on it. Turn back if it's not too late. I would love to, but I think we probably have to go forwards. I want to go see if there's anything up this trail. This is so cool that you can come all the way out here though. It encourages you to come and explore the whole map. Make sure there's like, you've checked every area in case there's anything of interest back here. I'm just going to keep sprinting, see if it stops me. Whee! Oh damn, he breathing? Oh. Well, I think it was going to let us run forever and then I hit a rock. So <laughs> if we do have stamina, it's not coming into play yet. But I do like they've got a sound effect though. So if you run for a long enough time, he does start panting. What if I press D? Is there anything to focus on? Nothing to focus on, but I am going to take a picture. New place found. Let me climb this thing. We can climb it and it teleported me to the top. Ooh, we have a pathway over that way. Oh, this is so cool. Let's take a picture from up here. Honestly, at this point, I'm taking pictures as <laughs> as a tourist more than I am as a um, investigator right now. It's just so cool. Look at this place. I mean, it definitely seems like it's a little bit abandoned. Like overturned stools. Looks like no one's been this way in a while. Ooh, what is this? Ooh, it's shiny. <gasps> oh, we found Excalibur, guys. That's it. Game over. Oh, wait. Did we actually take it? Oh, we actually took it. We have a sword now, guys. Eerie encounters. The forest of Vorhogna, number two. We need to find number one. Let me go and see if I can find piece number one before I read number two. I think it would just be helpful to read it in context of the other information. If we can find it. Hello, crackling sound. All right, let's go and have a look in the house. Oh, hello. Uh, it's an old sword, but it doesn't look viking. But it's stuck into a doorway, so I guess a fight broke out. An old Nordic axe. And my axe. Oh, what's this? Some kind of coin? Hello, good sir. Dear skull. Um, we have a hammer. What looks to be remnants of food stuff. It seems like someone left in a hurry. Oh, I guess we're murdered in a hurry. <gasps> Is that an EMF reader? Oh, it is. I'm so smart. So someone was doing a paranormal investigation in here. I wonder if that's what our missing people were doing. Coming out here to speak to whoever might still reside in this village. Anything to focus on in here? I'm not entirely sure what it's going to look like when I see something of interest with this mode. So I'm just going to make sure I press it every now and then. I found my very first runestone. How exciting. Ethan didn't think anything was here, but I knew it. I felt it. It was outside of the waypoint, into the forest, past the fallen watchtower. Despite... Um... What? What is... Hello? I was reading! Um, I think I should run. Do I, do I run? I'm a feared. Uh, I'm not sure what I'm supposed to do about this. Well, I mean, nothing's, nothing's coming at me. Oh, holy shit. I was wrong. Something is coming at me. Hello. Um, I don't know what I do about this. Should I just go say hello? What happens? Are you, are you trying to kill me? Is that what's going on here? Beautiful. Ah, I have perished. As the life leaves your body, a power intervenes, offering you a choke. A choke. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> this says a choice. <laughs> Sorry, that was me just not being able to read. Answer or restart? Oh, I kind of want to answer, but I also wanted to read the piece of paper. Oh god. Um, well, let's see what happens if I say answer. How many rune stones are there? Oh god, I don't know. I didn't. I didn't get a chance to find out. Uh, three. Oh, 
Wait, what? How? Did... Did I just skip a whole portion of the game by accidentally choosing correctly? Um, okay, can I at least read... Can I read that piece of paper now? <laughs> I found my very first runestone. How exciting. He didn't, didn't think anything was here, but I knew it. Felt it. It was outside of the waypoint, into the forest, past the fallen watchtower. Despite its assumed age and the flora around it, it's completely untouched by moss and lichen. How odd. Upon closer inspection, it's cold to the touch. The intricate carvings are still visible, thank goodness. It looks to be written in Elder Futha, so it's very old indeed. Does that mean it precedes the Viking Age? It will take me some time to sketch out and decipher these runes, so I'll make another note of that. Are there more runes around? We'll have to continue searching tomorrow. It's not getting darker, but it should be. That's weird, right? We'll go, we'll go back and see if we can go back to the village and find the rest of the pieces of paper, but before I accidentally <laughs> skip another chunk of the game, let me read Eerie Encounters. The Forest of Floral Hogner number two. We found an old bridge that wasn't on the map and decided to continue over slowly. Jessica was sure the bridge wouldn't support the van, but we made it. We headed down a dirt road that got more and more overgrown. I took that as a sign, but even started to complain about headaches, so we switched driving. I knew we were getting closer because we heard less and less wildlife and the fog started to get thicker. It's pretty freaky. Eventually, the road ended, so we decided to unload the van and start to explore a bit ahead on foot. I left a note, just in case anyone stumbled by it, but even I knew that was pretty unlikely. I checked the compass to see if we were going the right way, and it was going berserk. I've never seen a spin out of control like this before. I think it's a great sign, but the others don't seem as pleased. As if Ethan wasn't having enough trouble, a rock landed on his head from a tree above. Not too seriously, thankfully, but made quite a mess. A mischievous crow or something else to play? We went over the hill, and that's the first time we saw it. The settlement. Daniel, the 4th of April, 24. That's the day they went missing. Right, let me read what's on this floor. This rune seems to talk about one of Odin's son. Vidar. I wonder what the significance of it being here is. He watches all within his domain, judging and ever vigilant. Is that why I can't shake this feeling of being watched? I'm not sure I believe Daniel about spirits being here, but something definitely feels weird here. The rest of the script talks about Ragnarok, the end of the gods. He survives? What happens to him after that? This uh, whispering is definitely not creeping me out at all. Let's have a look at the rune. Oh, yeah, no, I can't read that. <laughs> Can I get back in? Oh, the place is toppled over. That was not like that before, no? Or was this a different watchtower? Oh god, the whispering dude. It's right in my ear holes. It's so creepy, but it's really cool. It's like incredibly atmospheric. I keep thinking something's behind me. It's a leather armband. Uh-oh. I think I broke the game. Oh, yeah. I definitely have broken the game. Um, I tried to leave and you can hear my footsteps like I'm walking around and I'm stuck on this screen so I am gonna have to restart uh, I don't know where it's gonna drop me we'll deal with it afterwards but that's definitely something I'm gonna let the devs know about um, it is as I say very early stages this is early access demo so we are gonna have some bugs okay it does start from the very beginning I had a very quick scan read of that and it said it feels like we're being watched so I'm gonna go through and do all of this again it did drop me at the very beginning of the demo so we're gonna skip through until we get to the village I wonder can we just leave like it says turn back if it's not too late. Can we like, can we just turn around and go? See ya! There's something creepy going on. I'm out. I'm going home. Ah, oh, we can't go home. All right, I guess we gotta go find these missing kids. Let's go. Is this a hamlet or some kind of waypoint travelers would use between villages? I can't believe how intact these buildings seem to be. Daniel seems to think there's something spooky about it. Of course he would. He had the spirit thing out wandering around. Annoyingly, it was beeping up a storm. Ethan spends most of his time taking snaps outside the walls or from up on the tower, no matter how many times Jessica tells him not to. She doesn't seem to be that interested. Not that she was that bothered about coming here. She just keeps saying how cold she is. Anyway, I think we'll spend the night here. At least one of the houses has intact doors we can shut ourselves in. All right, we have another house. Anything in here we can look at. note. Wait, number four. I wasn't sure if it was minutes that passed or hours before Ethan checked his watch and it said midnight. 
The sky was never bright, but it hadn't changed from the dim gloom since we arrived. I'm unsure if it was the tiredness or stress, or something else, but Jessica started to become increasingly nervous inside the settlement and wanted to return to the van for the night. Managed to convince her that we'd sleep inside one of the houses. How many chances would you get to sleep inside a real Viking house? We shut the doors and put our sleeping bags down for the night. Ethan decided to try sleeping on the bed. Sarah was unhappy, but didn't argue. Terrible nightmares. I wandered the forests. They were completely silent, but I knew I was being watched. I felt the shadows following me, skulking behind the trees. I touched one of the trees and it burst into flame. Then the whole forest was consumed by fire so hot I felt my skin blacken and blister. When I woke, Ethan must have woken up already as the bed was empty. The others jolted awake. They wouldn't say why, but I'm guessing they didn't sleep much better. I found Ethan outside up in one of the towers. It looked like he was holding something, but it was gone by the time he came down. He said he felt safer up there somehow. I'm guessing the date is done in the American way, so this is the next day, the 5th of April. This is after they were reported missing. Oh, we have another coin. I wonder if there's like a bunch of coins we can collect and we have to just kind of get as many as we can. We have another photo as well. Ooh, creepy. All right, we've seen most of the stuff in this building, so I'm going to grab it as quickly as we can. Oh, there it is. Okay, that still scared me the second time. <laughs> okay, I think I hear them spawning in. Let's grab the last bits, please. Quickly, go! Uh, sword. E, 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 E. I'm gonna try running away this time. I'm not sure where they're gonna spawn in. Uh, I'm just gonna try and run. Because we did need to find out how many rooms there were, but I only remember seeing one. Wait, here's the rune up here. Hopefully no guys chase us out here. Oh god, I'm stuck. I'm stuck! <gasps> yeah, I, I can't move. I'm actually stuck. This is what the unstuck button's for. Quick! Get unstuck! Ha <laughs> ha! I win! Uh, I don't know what I win, but I didn't die immediately. Focus vision doesn't do anything. I mean, I don't see any other runes. I'm not sure where we're supposed to find them. At least we know the answer. Hello! I'm wondering, how many of them are there? One, two, there's at least three. If there were four of them, I might have even said that these were... Oh, can I get up here? Ah, you fools! You cannot get me up here. Can you wait? Can you get me up here? <gasps> oh wait, it went away. Are they gonna kill me when I go down here? Let's see. Oh, nice. Okay, that worked. There it is, number one. Eerie encounters. This is my first entry for my latest venture into the paranormal. I heard some rumours about an area or a forest that hikers were going missing in, so I thought I'd check it out for my stories. I tried speaking to some locals in Vingolin about it, but no one wanted to talk about it. Probably not the best for tourism. I'll make some notes and edit them once I'm back home. Originally, Sarah wasn't interested until she heard where it was. She loves all that Nordic stuff. Ethan came along because he wanted some good photos, and I think Jessica just enjoys some time away from home. We're taking the van to Forlhogna now, and I've been told to head northwest. Let's see what we find. I have a feeling they might have found death. <laughs> Oh, hello. Whoa, who dropped a gun? I mean, I'm glad I came all the way out here for it, but that was not what I was expecting to find here. There's also a used shell. The beta focus is not showing me anything. Oh, jeez, oh, this scares me so much every time. <laughs> right, we just have to not get caught. I do not have the safety of the watchtower out here. I'm just gonna keep running and see if we can find anything out here. Oh, we found a cave. Oh god, I hear all the footsteps. Ew! All right, he's over there. I wanna go into the cave though. How do I get in? Unfortunately, everything looks the same and I'm terrible at navigation, so. All right, that's where he's coming from. All right, let me try and get around him. Must be the back of the cave. I'm gonna try and loop him. Oh, that's not looping. <laughs> um, I guess I'm gonna answer the question. What is the end of the gods called? I know this one. Ah. What? 
Is it not called Ragnarok? Ah, oh, damn it. Maybe we try to go to the cave first. Oh. Sir? Do you need help? I uh, hope you don't mind. Okay. Oh, there's another one down there. <gasps> Wait, do they come alive? Do I dare go up to it? I dare. Oh, I'm daring. Huh. Oh, what is that? Can I jump off here? Full damage check. Right, what does this say? Oh, wait, we've got sigils. This one is Jara. It means cycles, change, and the harvest of both nature and life. I don't like being this close to the scary people, but we need to have a look around. Oh, God, there's one right here. Algiz. This means divinity, luck, and protection. Connection to the highest self. If my elder Futhark isn't too rusty, this is Hagalez. It symbolizes wrath, being tested, overcoming obstacles. I thought that was a piece of leg meat or something. Urus represents life force, strength, courage, and tenacity. Okay, so we have some sigils. Don't come to life right now, please. Ugh! What is this? It's a scary man in a red scene. Oh! The birds. That's normal. There is something here to press E on, though, and I... Oh! Ew! That's a straight-up human heart. All right, time to go. Oh, wait, is this it? Oh, we might have found it. Yes, there it is, cave. Can we go in? I don't think I want to go in, but we go in. Oh, God. Please don't tell me they can chase me in here because I really don't want to get got. I hope none of you are afraid of being underground because we're going deep into this bitch. Oh wait, is this an opening? Oh shit. We're in trouble, aren't we? Oh, I don't think we're supposed to be here. Okay, hang on. Focus mode does nothing. What if I take a picture of him? All right, let's stay there. Oh God. Oh! Bye, Felicia. Well, Goodbye, cruel world, I guess. Oh. <laughs> oh, rip. We broke the game again. Well, back to the menu, I guess. <laughs> okay, so I had to take a break in filming, but I've come back with some ideas. I have been getting so very much lost on this map. So I'm going to go and pick up the things that I know about around here. Then we're going to go back up to the RV and I want to follow the perimeter. I'm basically going to follow the bounds of the demo and I'm going to follow it this way because I want to see what's around the edge and I've spent a lot of time on the other side of the map. I haven't been over here. Whoa, is that water? Oh, dude, it's the lake. Oh. Hello. Uh, have we escaped the map? See you later, forest. It's been nice knowing you. <laughs> I don't think I'm supposed to be out here. This is an early demo version, as we know, so bound to come up with things like this. And again, if you're playing this and you come across any bugs like this yourself, please do go and give them feedback because everything helps them to make the game better. Oh, hello. New area found, Cam. Oh, look. Oh, we found a new rune as well. Oh, I wonder if this is where they were staying then. We got a red backpack. Ooh, creepy. Some kind of leather bag. Just like Daniel thought. Something about this place screws up a compass big time. It's been spinning like crazy all day. Ooh. What else have we got here? We have a phone. Oh, it's broken. That's like a Nokia 3310. It's impossible to break those. What did you do to it? There's a letter over here. Oh, there it is. Number three. The settlement, or waypoint as Sarah likes to call it, is so creepy. The doors of the houses are open or busted. Items around the settlement lay in place, as if the villagers had just dropped everything and left a week ago. How is it all so well preserved? We've barely said two words to each other since we stepped inside. I think everyone is on edge, jumping even at the creaking of wood or the howl of the wind. I picked up one of the swords, but Sarah gave me a snap and I put it back. 
The metal was so cold. I think I saw Ethan pocket something out of the corner of my eye. I'll check in with him later. I got out the EMF reader and began slowly exploring. I got a low amount around the courtyard, which is normal, but I was getting higher reading inside the houses. I tried the spirit box, but no luck yet. It feels so strange to be walking the same halls where people stood and lived hundreds of years ago. It's never felt like this before. As I was deep in thought, someone called me from outside. Too faint to tell who it was, but I slowly stepped out, back into the misty courtyard. When I asked who called me, none of them said it was them. Ooh, creepy. Oh, hello. There was a creepy guy right there. Did you see him? Oh, wait, what is all this? Hello? I knew there was a good reason for following the boundary. We have found the church. Oh, this looks cool. Look at this. Oh, it's so pretty. For a game that's absolutely just gut-wrenchingly horrifying at times. This is beautiful. Uh, I don't want to go inside yet. I want to just make sure I get anything outside. Like, make sure there's no paper or anything that we can find. What does V do? Is there anything to see? No, nothing to note. All right, I guess we go inside. Ooh, this is weird. Toggle the lantern. The lantern is used to illuminate the darkest areas of the world and maybe, just maybe, keep the horrors at bay. That's disgusting. Ooh, we have candles. Hello, Miss Ma'am. Ooh, are we back outside? Oh, hang on. Oh, a lone boot. Oh no, that's not good. Whoa. Dude, look at this place. Ew! A human skull. Cool. I hope you didn't need that anymore. Uh, I'm a little afraid because the hunt hasn't started yet and I've been out here for quite a while. Ooh, the spirit box. I didn't see that before. That was like hidden in here. I'm just gonna like hide my body in this hole for a second. Okay, there were two people wearing brown boots. We have Sarah. We have Daniel. So us finding one brown boot in here. I guess it's going to be one of those two. So we saw the red backpack at the camp. All right, so whereabouts on the map are we? We stand over by this angel. Don't let them kill me, please. Okay, we have two of the runes marked. We did not mark the church on the map, which is interesting. Uh, I mean, I guess we just have to go. Oh, ruins. There's so much I didn't see before. Is there anything here? We have the ruins marked on the maps, but we do not have the church or the cave, which is interesting. Well, that's not creepy at all. Just this one massive tree in the middle of nowhere. Ew, this is weird. Why does it look like this? So we've got a couple of weapons and we've got a couple of skulls as well. So I'm wondering, because we seem to be picking stuff up. Like we must be taking stuff with us, surely. Oh no, I haven't seen that before. Why does this feel menacing? Ew, it kind of does, to be honest. Why has this been taken? Is that that tree on its own that I saw before? So, let's see what happens. If we press and hold B, we get our case file. And if we look at it here, is there anything that we can do here? Okay, yes, yeah, so we have a lot of information, but there's nothing... Oh my... Jesus Christ. I'm never not going to be scared about that. Well, we know being up in this tower before saved us, so maybe we just wait them out. Yeah, I see you. Yeah, there's another guy coming from that direction. Actually, all of them are coming from that direction. So there are definitely four of them at least. Definitely happy with that, knowing that we can come up in these when we need to. If we're in the town or nearby, if we get the hunt town, we can come here and hide. That's more of them showing up. Maybe there is more than four. Okay, the footsteps have stopped. All right, nice. There's no one down here, so they must just dematerialize at the end of the hunt. So what I wanted to do was follow this pathway. There was a way up the hill that it went, and I don't remember if I know what's at the top of it. But we're going to go and have a look, see if there's anything up there we haven't discovered. On this particular run, I have not yet found the circle. <sighs> I know that's at least one thing that I need to do is go and find that to get the runes. Is this it? Oh, nice. Okay, so this is the last bit that I know we haven't seen yet. Ooh, what? Okay. I can access what looks like this plate. 
Am I supposed to put something there? Life force, strength, courage, and tenacity. Well, if if any of these objects are related to that, I feel like that's got to be the heart, right? Life force, your strength of heart, your courage in your heart. So, Urus. I don't remember which one that is. Oh, wait, we can read them now. I was just looking at the rune text and we can actually see it now. During the twilight of the gods, the most faithful will be spared the wrath of Surtur and destruction of Asgard. Farstad, the village hidden in the grove, is a sacred site where the veil of life and death is thin. The forests are full of spirits from hell. Only those that Vidar allows can enter them and leave, which he can retract at any time. A fair but wrathful god, he must be appeased. Sacrifices must be made or his Draugr will come for you. Not the Draugr. A wrathful god must be appeased with sacrifices. So, sacrifices the skulls? Oh god, there's a guy right up there. Ugh. Oh, this is a bad place to be. This is a really bad place to be when the hunt comes. Oh no. I forgot how to get to the town. I ran because I got scared. I feel like I'm so close to answers. Maybe I just have to keep running. Oh no, there's a man over there. Oh no, I'm so dead. I'm so dead. I'm stuck. Ugh. I don't hear any footsteps. Maybe they don't know where I am. Oh no, they definitely do. I see him. Sounds like someone's really close to me. Oh, the circle. Where's the pathway? Oh god, that man is burning. Pathway, pathway. Alright, let's go. Please don't let there be anyone in front of me. Oh. Oh, dude, that was so close. Oh. That was too close for comfort. I am not smart enough for this, my friends. I don't even know where the other rune is. Alright, I'm gonna make my way back to the circle. I'm gonna go and test something. Because if I'm even vaguely correct in thinking that those are plates you can put items on, we have been picking items off and we have quite a lot of stuff. So I wanna go and see if I can put something on there. My thought, because we picked that heart up, maybe that goes on whichever one is the vitality one and I don't remember which it is, but... I'm just going to go and kind of mess with things, so to speak, because I am not too smart, as you might have known. <laughs> so uh, I'm just going to go and put some items on the thing and see if anything happens. Nothing from that one. Uh, what about the sword? Nothing from the sword. Uh, what about the coin? Oh, it's lighting up. Oh, heck yeah. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't even see that candle there at all, but I'm glad it's there because now that's telling me I'm doing something right. So, it is about putting items on things. We just have to go around and figure which items they are. Alright, it's happening. I need to try and be a bit smarter now. I need to try and get to... The town! I'm stuck on rocks all the time! Let me out! I need to get unstuck. Get me unstuck. Oh, thank god, game. Oh god, quickly, 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 quickly. Oh. Oh, that was scary for a moment. <laughs> right, well, something I've been figuring out. I spent a bunch of time there. I spent so long doing it that the hunt came again. But I was putting different items on the plates trying to figure it out. I've not yet been able to get another combination correct. But I feel like I've got to have something. Oh wait, the disc gold worked on one. Okay. It's not exactly sitting on the plate. It's more kind of floating inside it. But at this point I will take whatever I can get. I'm not sure what this is going to do. But if something good comes out of it, I will absolutely take it. I'm just... Putting items on and seeing what happens. Ooh, the Viking sword worked on this one as well. So we have one more to light up. I guess let's just try everything we have. All right, sword. No. Not the human skull. Oh, it's the leather bag. Oh! <gasps> Ooh! 
don't think that E is supposed to still be on the screen. I think that's a bug. Oh, uh oh. Summary. What is this? What happened to him? Oh, I don't have anything on my case board. I don't even know how to add something onto my case board. Now we know what. <laughs> well, now we know what the plates do. Some kind of ritual, something to be able to open the door. And now we have a summary of what happened to each of the four of them. I'm going to be honest with you. I have absolutely no idea what happened to anyone. There's nothing on my case board. I didn't even know how to add something to my case board. Oh my god, you drag it. Ugh. I genuinely have no idea. I am not smart enough for this kind of game. All right, well, the boot was either Sarah or Daniel's leather bag. Well, let's have a look. I don't know how to get rid of it. Ugh. That's just on my screen now. Okay. All right, well, none of them had a leather bag. We have red camping gear, pink backpack, cyan backpack, and a blue backpack. So that bag was in none of theirs. I don't know how to get anything off of my screen. Help. <laughs> Yo. I don't know. I got it all wrong, I know, but they were gonna kill me. Whatever happened, do I click end? Oh. Oh, well, I'm, I might get killed at the end screen. We'll see what happens. But thanks for playing this early demo version of Nowhere and working hard to gather your feedback, improve the game, and make it the best experience as a detect. Hello? I'm trying to do. Ah! How are you able to kill me in the end screen? That's just rude. I honestly thought I was safe, and apparently I was not. If I click answer, what's the question? Oh, I can't even read that. How many. Oh wait, how many runes are there? Three. Hooray! And I've respawned at the end of the game. Um, unfortunately, I don't know how I finished it. There was a button that said solve, and I think what you're supposed to do is find out what actually happened and type the answers in the box. And if you get them right, then yay, you did it. But I did not figure anything out and now I'm stuck in this screen. Like I definitely feel like there's a lot of this game that I did not get to see. Like in the trailer you saw that there was supposed to be words that popped up on the screen. Sort of like floating thoughts and I definitely didn't get any of those so I'm not sure what it is I've done differently or done wrong or if that's just not available in the demo but what I did manage to play was a lot of fun. Uh, I think it's a little bit over my head because I'm just not smart enough to put this stuff together. Like, I enjoyed the horror element so, so much, but the detective side, I... Yeah, I'm not a detective. <laughs> my IQ is not high enough for a game like this. Yeah, so I think we're going to have to leave it here for today. There's a lot of stuff I'm sure I did not cover but I ran around this map the best that I possibly could and I looked around. I didn't understand how to use the vision. When you press V and it gives you the focus vision. See if I can do it here because it still seems to think I'm in the game. Yeah, there we go. So you press V and everything goes kind of dark. I was doing that a lot of the time and looking around and nothing seemed to be changing. So I'm honestly not sure what exactly I was doing wrong with that. Once I understood how to use the case board in terms of dropping the sticky notes on there, it made more sense to how I use it that way, but my brain is just not smart enough to know how to put the information together. We did gather some info. We found some items like the brown boot that could have belonged to two different people. We found a phone, we found a compass, we found a couple of bits of paranormal equipment, but I didn't entirely understand how to put that information together to find out what happened to them. I am certain that there's something that I missed. I feel like there's more to it than this, but I ran around that map so much and I just genuinely don't know what I needed to do differently. So if you've played this and you know what I needed to do, please, please do comment below. Put a little spoiler tag on there if you're playing this before anyone has a chance. But if you want a chance to play this yourself, see if you can figure out what I didn't manage to figure out. This demo is now available on Steam. If you go to the description under the video, you will see a link to the Steam page. Go wishlist the game, please. This is absolutely going to be fantastic. The horror element was just spot on and it was absolutely stunning. The dev is a solo dev called Luke. He's working really, really hard on this game. 
Feedback for him is always appreciated, so I'm going to go and let him know some things myself. If you want to let him know anything, if you've played the demo, or if you want to go ahead and play it now, absolutely go and do so. It was a lot of fun, even if I couldn't figure out what was going on. I absolutely fudged it a couple of times, and I broke the game at least three separate occasions. But this is early demo version, and I know there are people out here which are better at games, smarter at puzzles, and I'm going to go and find some people that are playing this because lots of people are on this right now so if you're watching this when this video first comes out please go watch some other people playing there's some really incredible people checking out this game right now and they're definitely going to be better at playing than i am but i had fun with what i was able to do i'll be keeping my eye out for updates from the dev and to see what else they come up with for this game and when it comes out in full i'll probably have a go at it just to see whether or not i can figure anything else out but for now, thank you so much for watching. It's been an absolute pleasure coming back to the channel and I hope you've had a fun time with me today. So thank you so much. Please go to the description under the video, as I say, for the Steam page and for the Twitter page to the solo dev. Thank you again to Strange Signals for giving me early access to the game. I had a lot of fun today. Go and follow Strange Signals as well. I will tag them down below. For now though, thank you so much for watching. Please leave your comments, suggestions and feedback down below. And remember, it's always tea time somewhere in the world. Bye bye.